Hello everyone. Welcome to Big Tiny Dreams. Um, I had something totally different planned than what I'm doing right now. Um, it's just been a heck of a past couple of weeks and uh, I just feel exhausted, mentally exhausted and a bit physically. I've been trying to amp up my physical therapy exercises with my shoulder and I've been in a lot of pain. I woke up feeling better, but then I did my exercises and started hurting really bad. But anyway, um, the video I'm making now isn't the one I intended to make. I had something else planned, but the day got away with me, and I want to try and make sure I get some kind of content out every week. So this is kind of last minute. I don't even really have in mind much what all I'm going to say. So you'll have to excuse me if I just ramble about stuff. But anyway, one thing I thought I would talk about is um, kind of a life update. Um, I had talked about possibly, you know, getting a tiny home way back several videos ago, maybe more than several videos ago. And things seem to be, I don't know, not working in that direction. Um, but here lately, I've been rethinking, revisiting that idea. And I'm really, I think it's always something that's kind of been in the back of my mind that I kind of want to do, but I don't know if I can do it and just don't know if it's going to work out. So that being said, I've been doing more research. I call it doing my homework. <laughs> I've been looking online. I've actually watched tiny home stuff for years. I want to say since at least 2014, just because I thought they were cute and I Love seeing, you know, like I think there's one um, a show about it on uh, House Hunters or something like that, as well as I don't know if it's DIY, DIY, one of those channels. Um, I can't remember all the channels. And there's some on YouTube that I've watched. And there was a place that I was really interested in for years as maybe a possibility one day. And I've been keeping up with them. And um, it doesn't sound like it's a good place to go. And there's people waiting for homes to be built, um, or maybe not just built, homes and the place where the home was supposed to be for like four years now. So I'm like, oh, it looks like I'm not going to go with that one. And it was, it seemed really affordable and oh, this could be a good deal. And maybe sometimes um, when something, you know, looks like it's great, as you know, I've said in several um several YouTube videos, what a thrifter I am. <laughs> I love finding a good deal, but some things that sound too good to be true could in fact be too good to be true. And that's what I'm realizing on some of these. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just stay here. But then I'm realizing as time's going by, there's so much work that needs to be done to my home. It was built in 1960 and I can't afford to do it all. So um, not only that, I don't feel like I have the mental capacity to deal with it all. And I keep getting, you know, have several people interested in buying my house. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. But here lately, I've been revisiting those thoughts again, because I'm like, I just don't want the headache with all the things. And not that I'm trying to whine. I know a lot of people have, have issues and things that, and traumatic experiences they go through. Um, I don't know how much of y'all have seen the beginning of my channel where, you know, it was a little darker uh, because I had just gone through a divorce and after almost 30 years of marriage and then my husband died uh, before we were even divorced a year. I say my husband, he was my ex-husband at the time, uh, the father of my children. And it was just, even though I felt like it was a horrible situation that I needed to get out of, I never want anything bad to happen to him, ironically. I, I know, <laughs> ironically sounds weird, but when I, you know, confided in friends uh, of some of the things, you know, had gone through, they're like, you know, oh man, if that was my husband, I'd have killed him. Or even people that weren't my friends that, you know, when I was trying to help my husband before he died, um, I took him to the hospital and was trying to help him fill out paperwork. And I said, well, that's my ex-husband, but I need to, you know, be able to fill this out for him. Is that okay? Because, you know, he's not in a place to do it right now. And she's like, you're doing more than I would do if it were my ex-husband. But um, I used to be one of those type of people that would be, you know, I thought I would be never forgiving of some of the things that were done. But that being said, 
I don't know when, when you're with someone that long and it's different for everybody. It was, you know, that's like my family. And I just like with my children, no matter what they do, I'll always love them. Doesn't mean I'll, I'd put up with really horrible, you know, behavior. Like if they were, you know, did something to where they were in prison, I'd still love them. But if they did something that bad and need to be in prison, then I'd be like, yeah, that's where you need to be. I don't know why I'm getting off on that tangent. So anyway, um, the point is, um, I've had to get therapy and help because it was, it was just very traumatic, um, needless to say. And so I feel like I've been having to start over and there's just so many memories, not just here in the house, because this was, uh, my husband's family home and, um, but the whole town, there's all these memories and being that I went through, um, well, just to be honest, there was cheating and things like that going on. I didn't know about, and you know, someone who's gone through that, your mind goes to, well, was this real this time? Did, was I really loved that time when I, you know, he, he gave me roses this time, or he did this or that, that time, of course. In therapy, it's like, you'll never get those answers. You just got to move on, you know. So, uh, I'm not saying that to, you know, be this old sad story or anything. But it, it's been painful. And, you know, there's just so many things around town that bring me back. And not that I won't ever think about him and wish things had gone better for him in his life was she to take in a different direction but I want to move on and have peace in my life and um, my children kind of want to do the same as well so me and my daughter had been talking for a long time about um, you know trying to get a tiny home I've actually been trying to encourage my son into doing something like that too but um, I'm not sure because we share this place but I'm not sure that's the direction he wants to go but that being said, um, I've started looking again, and I think I may have found a home, depending on how much I can get from this house with all the work it needs, um, something that could work. But <laughs> here's the kicker, finding a place to put it. So it's there's been a lot of research done. If I do something, I'm thinking maybe by this coming up summer, I would like for that to happen. Uh, whether it gets to or not is a whole nother thing, but that's what I'm working for. So that's another reason I've been uh, a little bit frazzled and I might look pretty frazzled. <laughs> I try to brush my hair a little, put some of my earrings on and some lipstick, you know, trying not to look uh, too terribly awful for my video. Um, but I've been working on, I'm like, you know what? I've got a lot of stuff in this house. I've already gotten rid of a lot of things, but I'm like, I really need to go deeper and just get rid of things. Um, I want to be free of so much stuff. And now I know in some of my videos, I have things that I've, you know, bought, gotten, you know, really cheap on clearance or whatever. But I try to stick to things I would need anyway. Uh, clothing, you know, is something I feel I've always needed, especially since, um, I've been working. I mainly tend to buy things I wear for work. I have a few. I would consider this kind of cute, but most of my stuff isn't cute. It's like work stuff. So I try to get practical things. Every now and then I might get something like um, I got this when my sister sent me a gift card. Now, is it a need? No. Well, sort of, <laughs> but it's definitely a want, but I do have a couple of other water bottles and guess what? or water, whatever, mugs, I plan to get rid of some. So that's that's what I intend to do. So I've been working on that and uh, thinking of just if I, could, if I could get a tiny home that could be paid for to where all I'm worrying about is smaller bills. I don't have debts per se. I do make payments on my car and it should be paid off in just a couple of months. Um, but I don't want to be in debt which I don't have credit cards. If I buy anything, I think I've mentioned it um, in one of my other videos. I use an app that allows me to make pay something off in four payments or whatever without interest. Uh, and that's the way I want to be. I don't want to get in debt. I want to be free. <laughs> I want to have 
small bills and big life, if that makes sense. Kind of like my big tiny dreams, I guess. So um, I'm thinking, you know, as I start this process, hopefully it does get to be a process. Uh, hopefully this can be something that can come true. Hold on, I had to pull up a stool. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping that as I start the process, which I'm wanting to do, God willing, um, then I will bring you guys along and share that process. Um, I'm not going to show on my horrible house right now. I got stacks of containers of things I've been going through. I've got like mail and I'm like, why am I holding on to this? So I just, you know, throw it out. But um, there's a few pieces of furniture I think would work very well in a tiny house. Maybe I'll, you know, show you those here later. Um, but I thought this could be an exciting adventure. Uh, my sister and brother said, if and when I decide to do that, they would come down and help move us. We figured, you know, we'll get a certain size U-Haul. It'll be um, most likely me and my daughter going because my, as I said, my son kind of wants to stay in Texas. Um, and I hadn't mentioned where I want to go. Maybe I have in previous videos. But I have a sister in South Carolina and a brother in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And I'm thinking South Carolina, North Carolina, something like that. If I can find a tiny home community. Now, I know people talk about land. Um, I've been looking a little bit, not a whole lot, but I kind of like the idea of a community. I'd like to make some friends and know my neighbors. Even though I live in a neighborhood now, I don't really know any of my neighbors except for the guys next door. <laughs> One time, we're kind of, I say a hill, but not like a big hill. I walked down to check the mail one day and the grass was wet and I slid and fell like into the street. Now, normally it wouldn't be that big a deal except our streets, like main highway traffic. At least that's how they treat it when they drive through here. And I slightly twisted my ankle, but they happened to be where they saw it, I guess. And they came running to the street to pick me up. I don't mean like lift me up, but they each grabbed an arm and helped get me up to the house, which was really sweet. But other than that, I don't really know people around here. And I want to live where, you know, I could make some friends and you know I told my daughter I said I picture living in a tiny home community with a fire pit where I could sit around in the evening after making a friend or something having a glass of wine and just shooting the breeze as I say I'm one of those that a lot of things can be funny you know? and talking and laughing is my kind of thing but I also like playing games which I showed you all my card game collection way back when I first started my channel which was a lot, which I probably should let go of some of that too. Um, but I, I hadn't showed you all my, my dice game. And I say my dice game. I have like some little travel games and dice games and uh, board games. Uh, that will be a whole other video. But anyway, I just thought I'd give a life update and say that that's what I want to, the direction I want to start looking in. And I guess what got me to thinking, I think I went to I've always subscribed to tiny house listings just to see what people put up there never thinking I would actually get something but they decided to start building homes themselves and they gave me a call the other day and we'd been missing each other's phone calls and I just thought well huh maybe I'll just take the call and I just got really good vibes from them um really nice uh gentlemen and they really sound that they really sound good. And from what I've seen of some of the videos of what they make, it looks like really high quality and they put a lot of care in it. And compared to the prices of some others, you know, they're really not that bad. And it looks like it can have everything I need, which, you know, you don't need a whole lot in a tiny home. So that's what I'm looking into doing. Also, I thought I'd let y'all know what, you know, what future videos I plan on doing now. I know I'm Big Tiny Dreams is my channel, and, you know, I had way back in the beginning changed it to that when I was thinking of going tiny, but then every time I was wanting to, it never seemed to work out. So I've done, you know, this is a vlog as well, so I share other things in my life some people may or may not want to hear or see. But I have been doing some cooking as well, because that's kind of what I do. So I thought I'd share some of those with y'all, and so I have some more things that I want to cook and show y'all um, that will be coming up. I was going to do that today, but we go back to work tomorrow. We ended up getting invited to lunch today. So by the time we got back, I was just really tired. And I'm like, you know, 
I guess I'm going to have to wait to do it next week. But I thought I'd share some of what I plan to do. I have, I, and I'm not sure if I did a recipe out of this one yet or not. This is a Betty Crocker um, cookbook. Now, don't mind this here. That's That was some flyer in the mail, and I stuck it in there to hold my place of the recipe I want to try. But this cookbook, the pages are yellowed. Um, was let me see what the date is on this uh 1991 so that's the year before i got married i got married in 1992 so there's a recipe in here that i want to do a video on uh it's oh, oh i'm sorry i forget the mics there and everything hits it so excuse any weird noises sweet potato soup right there and here's the picture I'm like, you know, I want to try that. It's it's fall now, and um, there's some other soup recipes in here that I'm looking through that I might uh, do videos of as well. But um, I want to do that because I figured I could um, freeze them in the little Rubbermaid containers, take it out the night before I go to work, pop it in a Pyrex dish to heat up for my lunch at my and my daughter's lunch at work because we work the same. The same place, the same job, the same hours, and ride together, live together. That may seem weird for some people, but we're we're happy with that. And she says she wants to take care of me in my old age, so I'm like, okay, let's get a head start on it. <laughs> not really, but I mean, yeah, she does want to take care of me in my old age, and I'm not that old yet. But you know, um, she plans to you know get married and all that sometime soon. But we're actually thinking of maybe uh, a tiny home together to start with, or either two small separate ones. Um, but I also have this cookbook that I got with, I had bought a refurbished years ago, refurbished um, KitchenAid mixer from, I believe it was called Cons Electronics or something like that. I don't, I, to me, it seemed odd. They sold appliances. I didn't know that's what they did. But anyway, I had years ago sold like some homeschool books and stuff on eBay and got enough money to get a refurbished KitchenAid mixer. And I love it. I use it whenever I bake or mixings, of course. So I got this little cookbook that came with it, and there's some interesting recipes in there that I'd like to try. But I found, this was my husband's, ex-husband's grandmother's, uh, what I'm about to show you here. I have actually thought about um, doing uh, some vintage recipes years ago before I even started a YouTube channel. And come to find out, I happen to come across somebody who does uh, vintage recipes and old cookbooks and stuff like that. And really cute show. Um, I think she's called Cooking the Books. Um, I really enjoy watching her videos and she talks about the cookbooks she finds. But I thought it interesting because I've had that interest as well, uh, which is one of the things I'm going to share about my life, of course, is my cooking. And I plan to do a video about my different hobbies that I don't always get to do but there are things that I like to do in case anybody's interested so anyway this is from June 1935 says what recipe of the month magazine look at that I mean it's very old looking but it's still intact I don't even know what ingredients and stuff um, if I'll be able to find you know ingredients to make some of these but now, I'm not sure I would like these. I don't know, because this one's called uh, Luncheon Meat Puffs. Um, one cup sunlight luncheon meat cubed. So I don't know what that is. It might be like spam or something. I don't know. Something I'll have to Google to see. And I'm, as I said, I'm not sure I would make that one. But I thought I might try, you know, some of these older ones just to see. Um Swiss cheese canapes. Now that actually sounds like something I would like. But look at this. The pictures and stuff in there. I just find that very interesting. So I found a few of these. He um, had gotten rid of a lot of her stuff. But see here's one from August 1935. They're really thin booklets. But you know... Um, now, this one has more colorful pictures, I think. Southern rice cheese balls, broiled Puritan bacon sandwiches, sunlight luncheon meat platter. You know, if 
if that's this one over here illustrated it right okay sunlight lunch and meat platter so that does kind of look like spam to me so i have let me see i have several of those one two three four five this one's from july 1935 i've got one from october 1935 and September 1935. It's funny looking at these. I think of, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the show The Little Rascals. When I'd come home from school when I was younger, that would be playing. Um, and then there's this the Sunset Kitchen Cabinet book. I'm not sure how old this is. Let me see if I some looks like something spilled on the corner of the pages. Um, it's from 1935. It's a uh, Home Economics direct an introduction by Genevieve A. Callahan. Home Economics Director, Sunset Magazine. So you can see something was spelled. Um, but it just looks really interesting. Monday Night Casserole. Look at all the illustrations. Um, Perfection Nut Loaf Cake. Tamale Pie. Applesauce Cake with Fruit Filling. Pork and Noodles. Artichoke Western. Artichokes Western. Okay. Swedish pork chops, date nut bread, picnic salmon. So I have some older things like that. I also have some that um, I think my son got me for Christmas, not last year, but year before. I think it's America's Test Kitchen cookbook. I'll have to show that some is like this thick. And they have some interesting recipes I want to try. So that's a part of my life I want to share too. Um, but anyway, I just thought I would give an update. I need to put something out there. Hopefully, y'all find something enjoyable about this. And as I said, as um, I'm going to start now going through things. I, I did a, some videos way early in my, um, like last year when I started my YouTube and my YouTube channel. I went through like my Rubbermaid containers and uh, to downsize. I was like, okay, my daughter's going to have these and I'm going to have those. But see, we had our mind on these particular, this particular tiny home place and their homes. And now that one's, that one's not going to work out after, like I said, I've followed them on for years. And then I see all the troubles that they're having. I'm like, oh no, I, I don't want to go to more drama. I've had enough drama in my life to last me a lifetime. And I just want peace and, and fun. To me, fun is just laughing, talking, you know having a drink or, or with friends and maybe not like I have lots of friends I can get with, but you know, to me having fun, it'd be playing a Scrabble game. Me and my sister used to talk about, we'll be old ladies, you know, playing Scrabble. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this. Hope it wasn't too boring. Um, if you liked it at all, maybe give me a thumbs up and, um, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll be back with more stuff. Um, next week went because I've, I've worked several days in a row and then when i'm off again i'll try and get some um i have some other ideas of some videos i wanted to do but i just didn't get to make them this week and i have a cooking one but i'm like i try and do you know space them out i don't want to just do cooking 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 because i'm not a cooking channel i'm just i i'm under vlog because that's you know it's about my life and whatnot and uh sharing some of my experiences and what I plan to do. And I'm thinking, you know, if I can get this tiny thing, tiny thing, <laughs> this tiny home thing going, it could be a fun experience to share. So anyways, you guys take care, be blessed, and uh, I'll be back with some things next week. Maybe the cooking one. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.